hey guys welcome back to mama wn channel so today i'm going to show you how to make vegetable creamy spaghetti guys if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please do so and also click on the bell icon to get a notification anytime i post a new video you can also follow me on my facebook page mama double n okay let's get started as you can see i have my ingredients here what i'll be using for the food i have my spaghetti there i have my zucchini onions fresh pepper my tomatoes my carrots and my garlic so i'll just start by slicing the vegetables i'll start with the onions So I slice the garlic as well. And yes, there are other ingredients that I didn't show you that I'll be using for this um, spaghetti. Um, but keep watching and you'll see the process very soon. So I'll slice the carrot as well guys it is very healthy and good to eat vegetable they are good for our body please try to always use vegetable in your food try to eat vegetable and fruits especially now in this summer time you really need it for your body even for your kids the kids need it more actually it helps, it works. Try it out. So as you can see, I have my pot on the fire. My water is in. I'll just put it on the fire and let it boil before I'll put my spaghetti in it. But while the water is on the fire, while waiting for it to boil, I'll just keep on slicing the vegetables. Yes, and the reason why I decided to use the fresh pepper is because I like my food to be really like spicy. I like it when it's hot, when the pepper is really in it, you know. So actually, you can, uh, that is optional, you can choose to use it or not. It is not a must to use the fresh pepper. I think the black pepper alone is enough for that. But I use fresh pepper because I like when my food is really hot, like when it's spicy. Yes. Yes, like I said before, I didn't show you all the ingredients. I have my oil there, my Maggi cube, and this is the cream that I will be using for the food. It is called Schlagsahne in german language in german here so i'll just add my salt to the pot and cover it again for it to boil before i put my spaghetti you have to let the water boil before you put the spaghetti if not it will soak in the water so as you can see i've put my spaghetti in the pot so this is the um, meat that i'll be using for the food as well you know it is already cooked it is um you can use this we use this actually for our breakfast you know you can just um use it like that this is optional as well it is not necessary but you know me like i like to try new things so that's why i i want to use that so the pasta is boiling I'll just cover it and let it boil I won't let it cook for like till when it is really cooked I'll just like parboil it till it's almost cooked you know 
Yes, so as you can see, my pasta is ready to leave the fire. So I'll just put it in the filter and let the water drain. So as you can see, my oil is already on the pot. I'll just let it heat before I start putting my vegetables. So I'll add my salt to it. Now I add my onions first of all. I'll just let it fry for some minutes before I add the other vegetables. And guys, I love the smell of the onions when it's like frying. So I'm just adding my carrots to it. Yeah, so after adding my carrot, I add the other um, stuff like the zucchini and the tomatoes. Yes, and turn it together. So I'll just let it um, fry for like two minutes. Yes. Yes, and um, the part where I put the meat in the pot is nowhere to be found. I don't know what happened. I think I mistakenly deleted it. But as you can see, the meat is already in the pot. So the next thing I'll just do now is put my Maggi cube. I'll just put like half Maggi cube in the pot. And of course, after putting the maggi, I will just turn it together. Guys, the food is almost getting to an end. And also the part where I put the cream. I don't know the video. I don't know what happened. As you can see, the cream is already in the pot. I'll just add my spaghetti to the pot now and stir together till it's um matches with the vegetable and cream as you can see guys the cream is already in the pot can you see that can you see the color has changed so I just add a little amount of water to it so that it won't be too dry I don't like when it's too dry I'll just turn it together so that it will mix together. I'll add my salt to taste and turn it together. Like I said before, it is very easy to prepare. Or oh, isn't it easy to prepare, guys? You just leave your comments in the comment section on how you feel about this. So I'll just add my black pepper to it so that it will give it that nice taste that we all know. Don't you know how the black pepper tastes in the food? Of course you know. <laughs> and of course I turn it together as you can see and yes my food is ready i hope you enjoyed watching it please feel free to share my videos feel free to share it to whoever you want to please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel also click on the bell icon to get a notification anytime i post a new video you can also follow me on my facebook page the name is mama double n 
thank you and i really appreciate your time watching my video have a nice day until i see you again mama double and cares much love bye